All right, what we have here is a fairly new project here. It's a 76 Datsun or Nissan. This is actually one of the employees here at Eastwood. Um, spent a couple months doing some metal work on it and just ended up putting it into epoxy yesterday. The owner of the car comes in and says, hey, do you mind filling some holes for me? Would have been nice before we painted it. Here's where we're at. So what we're gonna use is our plug kit, which is essentially small 18 gauge circular pieces of steel here and the step drill bit. These things are sized. We have a couple thousandths undersize on the plugs themselves. You drill the hole, put this in here, you'll get a perfect weld every time. Let me show you how it's done. One of the important things you gotta do here with a tool is clean up the edges. Get rid of any primer, get rid of any burrs before you go ahead and weld it. Today's welder choice is the MiG-90. It's affordable, easy to use, and great for sheet metal. So we got one more hole to fill. The owner wants the antenna hole going here. So it's a shame because this thing, look at that, it's almost dead on for the right size, but just a little bit too small. So, so we're gonna use the included step drill bit and make the hole perfect size and then weld this in. So you can see the panel's got a little bit of a contour. Quick little trick here, just between two adjustables, you can give a little bit of a bend, get some nice contour. Oh, I was talking to the camera? Yeah. I'm just gonna use the body hammer, just tick, 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 just tap it right in there. So I just got done hitting this with some 180. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Duraglass in here to make sure everything's waterproofed. And then go ahead and put the, our epoxy primer back over it. Then we can finish with bodywork.
Okay, so we finished our repair, but we're back down to bare metal. So earlier, we sprayed the entire car with uh, epoxy outside with the gun. We're inside now. We can't go outside because of the rain. So here's our other options. 2K Aerospray Epoxy Primer. We can go ahead and hit that spot there. Or we can use our OptiFlow roll-on system. I'm going to choose to do this one. We don't have to mask anything off. It'll give us a nice epoxy finish. We'll be able to uh, go ahead and do the rest of the body work. So that last shot, you'll see that it said urethane on there. What you want to use is epoxy. That's what we sprayed on the car. I grabbed the round can. So I don't know if the camera picks this up or your monitors, but there's a very slight difference in color between these two here. Actually, uh, I forgot the OptiFlow is much lighter gray. But both are 2K epoxies, both are durable, both are what we want. So we're going to go ahead and finish the bodywork from here. So if you're looking for any of the tools or products that we've used here, go on over to eastwood.com.